hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of k if we have square root of k plus square root of minus k is equals to 4 and we solve this problem for all the values of k so here first we find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will be verify that which of the roots are solution of this equation and which of the roots are extraneous root because this is a radical equation and in radical equation uh, extraneous roots are exist okay but unfortunately um, some have uh, no extraneous root but now here let's see in the solution of this problem i hope so you like this method but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section so here first we need uh, to remove uh, this square root sign from the terms so that's why we just move this uh, square root of k to the right hand side and we write uh, this term as minus square root of k is equals to this is 4 and when we move this into the right hand side it will becomes minus square root of k and here uh, in order to uh, remove the square root sign we need to take a scaring on both of the sides uh, so that when we will take scaring it will be written as in this form so here uh, we need to focus into the right hand side and in the right hand side we use uh, this nice algebraic formula you know about that if we have a minus b whole square is equals to a square minus 2 times of a b plus b square this is the over uh, nice formula which we can apply here into the right hand side and now but for if you focus into the left hand side you see here this two and this square root are gone and we will get here minus k is equals to here you see that this is our a and this is our b and we use this formula so according to this formula we write the right hand side as first you have a square here our a is 4 square minus 2 times of a b uh, here our a is 4 and b is square root of k and plus b square so b is square root of k and its whole square and now here further in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as this is minus k is equal to here we have this is 4 square and 4 square becomes 16 minus this is 2 times 4 becomes 8 times of square root of k plus now here you see that this 2 and this square root are gone and we will get here k only and so uh, further in the next step you see this is positive k when we move uh, and this k into the left hand side it will become the negative k uh, so it will be written as minus this is minus k and when we move this one here it will become also minus k and this is our 16 when we move it into the left hand side it is also becomes minus 16 and this is equals to uh, here we have minus 8 times of square root of k and now here we need to add or subtract the like terms and we have minus k minus k becomes minus 2 times of k and this is minus 16 is equals to minus 8 times of square root of k and now you see here both of these terms involve a minus q or the coefficient of both of these terms are divisible by 2 so that now we divide both of the sides by minus 2 on each of these terms it means that we divide this term by minus 2, this term by minus 2 and this term by minus 2. So after dividing by 2, uh, we will get here the remaining values are here you see that this minus 2 is cancelled out by this minus 2 and we get here k only. Here you have this minus times minus becomes plus and this 2 times 8 becomes 16. We get 8 is equals to this minus is cancelled out by this minus and this is 2 times 4 becomes 8 and we get here 4 times of square root of k so you see that uh, uh, here in the right hand side we again have uh, square root sign on k so we again take scaring on both of the sides uh, so when you take scaring on both of the sides it will be written as in this form and here you see that the base of the, this is our a and this is our b so here we again use uh, the algebraic formula so after that uh, we uh, just uh, uh, after uh, opening the square of this term it will be written as uh, 
uh, k square plus 2 times of k into 8 plus 8 square is equals to here we apply the square separately on both of these values and we will we write it as this is 4 square into square root of k and its whole square and we know that 4 square is equal to 16 and this 2 and square root are gone and we will get here k only uh, further we move the 16 k into the left hand side and it will be written as this is k square plus this is 2 times 8 becomes 16 k plus this 8 square becomes 64 this positive 16 k becomes negative 16 k and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now you see here this is negative 16k this is positive 16k are cancelled out by each other and we get here k square plus 64 is equals to 0 and further in the next step we need to move this 64 to the right hand side and it will become k square is equals to minus 64 and here for the values of k we need to applying a square root on both of the sides so when you apply square root on both of the sides it will be written as in this form and here in the right hand side first we apply square root separately on both of these values and it will become square root of 64 into square root of minus 1 and here you see that these two and this square root are gone and we get here k is equals to we know that a square root of 64 becomes 8 and square root of minus 1 is equals to iota also you know about that when we apply square root on both of the sides we will write here plus minus sign any one of the side so we write here plus minus sign into the right hand side so this means that these are the two roots of the given equation which we get here so k equals to plus minus 8 iota be the final solution of this problem and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos